Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin with good news about the fight against COVID-19. Health Canada has given the green light to a second vaccine. The federal agency says its review found the Moderna vaccine to be both safe and effective. According to Moderna, the first doses could arrive in Canada by Christmas Day. Up to 168,000 doses are expected to be delivered by the end of next week. Unlike the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, the Moderna shot doesn't require ultra-cold freezers, so it'll be easier to ship to northern, remote and Indigenous communities. This authorization is a critical step in ensuring a COVID-19 vaccine is available to all Canadians in all parts of the country. If all goes according to plan, the first Moderna doses will arrive in the territories by December 28th. Rollout will then ramp up in the new year. In tonight's top story, we look at Canada's vaccination operation and the warnings as we head into Christmas break. Here's Mike LeCouture. The first doses of our guaranteed 40 million dose order from Moderna will arrive in the coming days. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's tidings of joy didn't stop there. In addition to the first shipments of the Moderna vaccine, Canada is getting an extra quarter of a million Pfizer-BioNTech doses in January. We're on track to have at least 1.2 million doses from both Pfizer and Moderna delivered by January 31st. It means 600,000 Canadians could be immunized by the end of the first month of next year. Health officials say they're still on track to inoculate everyone who wants a COVID-19 vaccine by the end of September 2021. One key to herd immunity for Canada is making sure the vaccine gets to everyone, something officials can finally start in remote areas like the territories because the Moderna vaccine travels better than Pfizer's. The planning uh, sort of... Uh assumption has been to really uh, deliver enough vaccine to be able to cover 75% of their population so that we're not making multiple trips to a small community. Other vaccines from AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson are being reviewed by Health Canada. In both of those, the reviews are progressing and they're progressing well, but in both cases, we're still waiting for um, packages of information. Even without those two, Canada is still on track to have 6 million doses of vaccines by the end of March. We're almost there. But we're not there yet. COVID-19 cases continue to climb in Canada, even as Ontario and Quebec prepare for lockdowns. And the Prime Minister is urging Canadians to resist the temptation to bend the rules and gather over the holidays. Reach out over Zoom, reach out uh, over the phone to make sure that people know we're thinking of them. And part of our love for them and thinking of them is not showing up to give them a hug this Christmas with the hope that things will be much closer to normal next Christmas. Mike LeCouture, Global News, Ottawa.